Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will see how we can cancel one uh, AP invoice. Usually in Oracle Fusion, AP invoice cancellation process can be done at uh, invoice level or invoice line level. So this is one of the AP invoice you can see and test uh, invoice one and you can see here if you go to action okay you are getting here the cancel invoice option so that means if you cancel invoice then the complete invoice with the associated lines all of the lines will be cancelled along with the invoice but if you don't want to cancel the complete invoice but if you go to line invoice line you can see here uh, there is another option to like cancel the line like any of the line you want to cancel some of the line you see you realize that uh, the line is incorrect and you want to cancel that line that also you can do okay so for this purpose just click on edit okay if you click on edit you can see here at the line level the cancel line uh, so now once you cancel the inverse or cancel the line the respective accounting will be reversed so we'll see that. So first, let us go and uh, create the accounting pass for the invoice. Post to ledger. So now we'll create the complete accounting. View accounting. You can see. So item expenses account debited to liability account. So there are item expense line as well as uh, non-recoverable line. They are tax liability. So now, uh, latter point of time you want to cancel one of the line and you actually don't need this line. So you want to cancel. So let us see and cancel this line cancel line 2, select the line and cancel line. So the line is cancelled. So once you cancel the line, you see the validation status is again need revalidation. So you, are, you have to validate the invoice again. Okay. Go to invoice action and validate. So you can see the line variant sold here uh, as the invoice is cancelled. So you have to change the invoice header amount. So invoice header amount will be 1095 because you have cancelled the second line. Validate the invoice. and uh, the invoice is validated now see the accounting see resubmit for approval so even after cancellation of the invoice you have to again resubmit the invoice for approval so we'll force approve this invoice and uh, again you can see the invoice status is partially accounted. Why it is partially accounted? Because we have created the accounting earlier for all the lines because 
after accounting we have cancelled one of the invoice line again for the cancel activity or the cancel event we have to create the accounting okay because in a fusion the accounting happens for the invoice creation as well as invoice cancellation the reverse entry will be created for cancellation so that we have to complete that's why the invoice accounting status is showing as partially accounted so now go and create accounting again post to ledger so that the cancellation event will create the account again. It's nothing but some reverse accounting for the cancel line. You will see. Okay. So this is for the reverse accounting. The item expenses line was credited earlier, so after cancellation, now again it is debited. Okay. Similarly, the liability account it is debited out. Similarly, the liability account is debited. So now we have created the accounting. Now you can see it's fully accounted now. So I hope you understand how to cancel AP invoice and how to handle the accounting process of uh, the invoice after cancellation. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for getting latest update. Thank you guys.